And shifting focus to UK, we are adding to fears of recession. UK's economy has slowed down in month of April. This has economic output declined for second month in a row. Data for months showed UK economy has stalled as decade high inflation accelerated and supply disruptions hit manufacturing hard. Figures revealed the impact of surging prices on household spending and business activity. UK's GDP was down 0.3% in April after drop of 0.1% in March, while services was down 0.3%, tracking down April's fall in GDP, and production was down 0.6%. It was driven by sharp contraction in manufacturing. Construction dropped 0.4%, following solid growth in March. Reports say it is the first time that all main sectors have contributed negatively to a monthly GDP estimate since January of last year. Office for Statistics also reported that supply chain problems have hit factories. UK Chancellor Rishi Sunak reassured people government is fully focused on growing economy to address cost of living in longer term. Reacting to news, sterling dropped 0.4% yesterday against dollar in early London trading. Official data showed consumer prices were up at an annual rate of 9% in April. It was fastest in 40 years and highest of any G7 country. Reacting to fears of slowdown, UK shares fell to their lowest level in more than three weeks. Yesterday, blue chip FTSE 100 index was down 0.9% and domestically focused mid-cap FTSE 250 index declined 1.3%, touching lowest level since May 19. Bank of England is expected to raise interest rates by 25 basis point to 1.2% as it battles red-hot inflation. And we earlier spoke to our London correspondent Giles Gibson to get more on this story. Listen in. Analysts had been expecting the UK economy to grow by around 0.1% in April uh, when these uh, figures came out. But as you were just saying, uh, suddenly we have this uh, surprise uh, shrinking uh, of the UK economy uh, and really just output dropping right across different sectors. So the services sector, which of course is really important uh, here in London, you know, accountancy firms, lawyers, that kind of thing. Uh, seeing output fall as well as the production uh, and the construction sectors here in the UK as well. Uh, one thing that's really interesting to note is just the, the impacts that the closing uh, of the uh, NHS uh, test and trace scheme for coronavirus uh, and the impacts that that had on the UK's GDP figures uh, as a whole. Uh, the UK government really over the course of the pandemic has been ploughing billions of pounds into running this scheme. It's uh, not just the testing labs, of course, but they've also been spending money on the coordination, on tracing people, so on you know, call centres and that kind of thing. That has now come to a close, uh, and the Office for National Statistics here in the UK is saying that just closing the test and trace scheme has knocked about half a percent, 0.5% off of GDP growth uh, in April. So uh, once again, just uh, really uh, not a good picture for the UK economy uh, as we head towards a big announcement on Thursday from the Bank of England uh, about interest rates. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.